Hello everyone, this is Mott235 with another tutorial. Now, if you're like me, you had an Xbox and it probably red ranked and you sent it in for a pair, and you may or may not have a uh, spare one of these laying around. I actually got rid of my Xbox, so I don't need it anymore. So I decided to uh, convert it into a power supply. Now if you flip it over here on the back, uh, you probably can't see it, but up at the top, it says we have a 12 volt output at 16.5 amps and a 5 volt output at 1 amp. So the 12 volt output on this is awesome. Now, at first I decided to actually open this up and start soldering wires to the board, but uh, it turns out that the, um, the end piece that plugs into your Xbox, uh, it basically has everything you need uh, right here so you can just strip the wire and if you can get to these, you know, and uh, solder them, and that'll work fine. Now, uh, Basically the way it works is you have a red wire that comes out, that's your 5 volt positive, and you have your blue wire, which is your uh, power OK. Uh, I'll explain that in a second. And then you have the yellow and black wires, you should have four of each. Three that are a bit lower gauge than another one, but uh, all of the wires, you know, carry the same power, so I just soldered them all together into one wire. Um, now, <clears throat> with the... Uh, power OK wire, you have to have between 3.3 and 5 volts going to that before the 12 volt lines will turn on. So basically the easiest thing to do is just short these two wires together and you'll get your 12 volts. Uh, the way you can tell if it's working, when you plug it in there's a light here. If uh, it's yellow, that means your power OK does not have voltage going to it. If it's green, it does, and the 12 volt lines are on. And if it's red, that means that this is shorted out and you just have to unplug it and uh, plug it back in. And I'll demonstrate that all in a second. Now, what I did here was uh, I took a switch. Now, a single uh, throw switch would work fine for this, but I have a uh, double throw, whatever you want to call it, switch. So um, basically what I did was I uh, took the red wire, which is my 5 volts, uh, put it in, have another wire, which is my 5 volt out, attach that, and then just looped it back around. Uh, it's sort of pointless to do it this way. If if you have just a normal single throw switch, um, that'll work fine. Just, uh, you know, have your 5 volt on this side, and then your power good, and your uh, 5 volt output on this side. And then when you flick the switch, it'll work fine. Um, so yeah, that's really all you have to do. Um, You'll also notice that there's uh, some braided wire, uh, like underneath the cord. Um, that's just, it's grounded to the uh, power brick itself, um, so you can just tape over that because uh, it goes to the same exact ground as the black cable. So I'm going to plug this in and show it off. Okay, I'm back, and uh, here's what I'm saying. See how it's a yellow light when the switch is turned off? Now when I flick the switch to on, it turns green. So now I have my 12 volt output going and my 5 volt line is live. Uh, like I was saying right before I plugged this in, make sure your 5 volt output is on the same side as your power OK, uh, on the on the same pin. So that way you don't you don't have uh, 5 volts coming out of this until that's green. Um, see if I turn this off here, uh, I can take my my 5 volt line and touch it to the ground and nothing happens because. There's no continuity in those wires, but if I turn it on, it'll, uh, it'll short out if I do that. Uh, now, with the um, built-in uh, uh, reset on this, it's like a self-resetting circuit uh, breaker thing. If I take my two wires here and I short them together, it's sort of hard to do when you're holding the camera. Let me just set this down so you can still see it all. All right, if I take this, I short the two wires, it, it'll it turn red, uh, it'll cut the power, and all I have to do is just turn it off, turn it back on, and it's back to being good. Uh, only thing is, if you short your 5 volt line, like, uh, won't even spark really, but if you do that, it'll turn red, and you can reset this all day, it won't do anything. If you uh, actually short out the 5 volt line, you have to unplug your uh, power supply and then plug it back in. But once you do that, uh, well, you have to unplug it until the red light turns off. 
the capacitors inside uh, hold a bit of a charge after you unplug it. So yeah, uh, after the charge bleeds out, you can go ahead and plug it back in, and it'll be back good, ready to go. So um, yeah, if you need a cheap power supply and you have one of these laying around, uh, you know it's not loud, doesn't get hot, and uh, you get quite a good bit of power out of it. Um, and uh, the actual details on the power draw and everything, all up top on the back right here. Uh, this is the original Xbox power supply. I'm not sure if the newer one is different. But uh, this one has a 203 watt draw on the socket, uh, 12 volt output at 16.5 amps, and 5 volt at 1 amp. So basically anything that requires uh, 6 volts, which is 4 AA or AAA batteries you can run with this or anything that requires uh, 12 volts you can run with this, which basically is all small electronic appliances, and it's great for using for hobbies and stuff like that, hobby electronics. So uh, that's all. Make sure you comment below and comment on my blog, which is matsu35.blogspot.com. Uh, have a good day, everyone.